All right, it's six o'clock, and I'm going to call this meeting to order. <laughs> we have all board members are present and accounted for. Um, Mr. Griffin, are you going to lead us in the invitation? I can, yes. Let us stand. All right, it's dear God, thank you for this group of people. We just thank you for your safety. We just thank you for your kindness. We thank you for the salvation from our feelings. We just pray that you would lead us and guide us and direct us tonight as we go through this board meeting. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The flag is behind everyone there. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. All right, so again, all board members are present and accounting for work. Uh, number four is agenda. Um, and can I get a motion to amend the agenda to add an executive section in old and new business? Second. Uh, all those in favor? Okay, that's unanimous. So if you want to take your agenda now and um, open your business, we will uh, go into executive session later. Okay. Um, can I get a motion to approve the agenda? Okay. All those in favor? Okay. All right, let's see. We're going to move. Um, Superintendent took number five off. Number six is the finance department. Mr. Griffin, do you have anything as far as bank reconciliation? I don't. It was, a, it was a tax, so we're good. Okay. okay. This agenda. We approve this agenda with, with that last. Nobody told me to amend this agenda, and I take that off. Yeah. Yeah. We did it before. Okay. That they took the visitor sleeping off without a meeting. Mm -hmm. So the agenda presented by the superintendent, the most recent agenda did not have visitors on it. That's yeah. not it. That's it. Still does. The most recent one. Not given the agenda. We have okay. So that's fine. So then, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so that's so yes. So okay, so we're gonna go with number five. And so the um, first visitor on the list is Mr. Jason Calvin. Okay, here I am. Tonight I'm just gonna read a statement. So together, the Board of Education, Clinton Elementary, and the YMCA have uh, built a tremendous after school program. One to be very proud of. One that stands in a category by itself. But through all of this, the integrity of the program and the leadership of the two site directors have continued to be questioned. And now we've learned today that the Attorney General's office has now been contacted by you and your attorney for an investigation and or opinion. It is clear the Board of Education does not trust the way the program is being operated and obviously would like to see the program go in a different direction. Therefore, it is with great sadness and a deflated spirit that I inform you, the Board of Education, that the YMCA Board of Directors will not renew the partnership with Clanton Elementary and the Board of Education. However, the YMCA Board of Directors will continue to offer an after-school program for the kids of Chilton County. And now to the children of Chilton County and your parents, we're very sorry it has come to this, but we pledge our commitment to provide the best after school program that we possibly can. And to the CCCC staff, we are also very sorry it has come to this, but enough is enough. And I'd like to thank you all for allowing me to be on the agenda to represent the YMCA board of directors. Um, so just so we're clear, the Attorney General's office has not been contacted. 
No, I have not called an attorney general's office. No board member has called the attorney general's office, nor has our attorney called the attorney general's office. So I just wanted to be real clear about that. Has there been a resolution created to either contact or send to the attorney general's office for an opinion what? and or a general? That's what? No. Okay. So you advise her not to answer that any more questions. This is an opportunity for visitors to speak, and so this is your opportunity to speak, not for the board to respond questions. Okay. Well, she responded, so I was mm -hmm. we're trying to have dialogue. Okay. Thank, thank, thank you for the opportunity to be. Thanks, Thank you. Okay, and we're gonna make today Mr. Bill speak. I'll stand and, and let everyone know that Mr. Speaks was told he could not speak. So he was here to represent the CCCC. And I would, you know, he was going to share on my behalf as well that this is a disgrace for our community and it's an embarrassment. And I regret this for my families and for the children of this county. And it's shameful. And I want everyone to hear that and know that. Thank you. We're going to move to number six, which is finance department. And again, Mr. Rickman, you said that we're you're okay. yeah. So we're going to move on to number seven, which is personnel. We're going to begin with A, which is resignations. You should have um, four under your resignation to retirement. So we're going to vote on all those together. Um, the superintendent. Um, can I get a motion to approve the um, superintendent's recommendation for retirement and resignation? Okay. Second. Okay. Is there I any discussion? I refuse to. Okay. Okay. We have one recusal. Uh, all those in favor? Everybody. All right. That's. You got that? Okay. Uh, we're going to move to B, which is new hires and transfers. Um, we are going to, um, we're going to take, we've got administration classified certified. We're going to begin with the first. We should have one. Um, can I get a motion to approve um, the superintendent's recommendation? Are we just doing the first? Yes, we're just doing the first one. Okay, I have a motion. Can I get a second? Okay. Is there any discussion? I'm going to recuse myself. Do we have another recusal? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, all those in favor? Okay. Okay. So that passes. We're going to move to classified. You should have four under classified. Uh, can I get a motion to approve the superintendent's recommendation? So moved. Okay. Any discussion there? I have to refuse myself. Okay. So we have one recusal. All those in favor? Okay. That, did you get that? All those? Yes. Okay. Uh, we're going to move to certify. <laughs> And there are several of those. You should have two sheets to your personnel. You should have. There should be 19. Okay. Uh, can I get a motion to approve the superintendent's recommendations? So moved. Second. Okay. Any discussion there? Okay. All those in favor? Okay, that was everyone. All right, so new hires and transfers pass. We're going to move to leave requests. You should have one under your leave request. Can I get a motion to approve the superintendent's recommendation? Okay. Is there any discussion later? Okay. Uh, all those in favor? Oh, okay. You're, you're I got it. All those in favor? 
Okay, it's unanimous. Okay, and if you look back on your agenda, um, we have a letter D. You have three uh, non renewals, or four, I'm sorry, two at one syllable. There's four. Um, the superintendent recommends approval of the non renewals. Can, can I get a motion to approve recommendation? So moved. Okay. okay. Any discussion? All right. All those in favor? Any opposed? Yes. All right. That passes. We're going to move to E, which is contract employee central office resignation. Uh, superintendent recommends approval to accept resignation of contract employee at central office. <coughs> Can I get a motion to approve the superintendent's recommendation? So moved. Second. Any discussion? She said, what's the end of it? June 30th. June 30th. Yeah. Okay. All those in favor? Okay, that's unanimous. That passes. All right, we're going to move to the consent agenda. Okay. Um, superintendent recommends approval of the consent agenda, and that should be <coughs> A through E, and not A through L. So you have A through E. If you need to correct that, that should be an E. Do I have any discussion here? Oh, I'm sorry. Does anything need to be pulled? Okay. Um, can I get a motion to a, a motion to approve the, recommend, uh, the recommendation of the superintendent for consent agenda A through E? So moved. Second. Okay. All those in favor? That was every time. Mm -hmm. That passes unanimously. <coughs> All right, number nine. Can I have a request there before we go to the the minutes are sent? I don't know. Can we send her? Can we send her a sheet with like the schools that the person is either resigning or retiring or where they're being hired? Because when I go back to look at minutes and it doesn't have that, then I have to pull one. Stuff and that's the way we used to get it. I know I talk about this all the time, but and I asked her, could she put that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you get a sheet that we can't copy that Okay, can I get a motion to approve the recommendation of the superintendent? Type it up. I'm a good type of stuff. Yeah. If I was going to request that, I would request that it didn't put on PDF because I can't press stuff. I can't yeah. see it on my computer. I have to get that. Okay. Out. Just let, I mean, six is enough. We're going to move to number nine, which is the um, superintendent's report. Um, uh, there's some personnel recommendations here. There's a transfer from CMS to CES, uh, effective date 8 3 2020. Okay. Uh, is there any discussion here? Okay. Um, all those in favor? So that was everybody. Okay. There's a, a special ed paraprofessional at Isabella High School effective 8 3 2020. So moved. Okay. All those in favor? Everybody. Okay. okay. And last one, uh, retirement, effective June first, twenty twenty. So moved. Um, 
All those in favor? <coughs> Sorry. All right. We're gonna. Do you have anything else? Okay. Okay. All right. We're gonna move to number ten. Um, old and new business. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, open up the floor for old and new business. Or do we need to do a second session right now? We want to do it. Why don't you go ahead and go ahead and take the session and add it to the board. Okay. So can I get a motion to um, go into executive session for a good name and character? So moved. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Okay. All right. So we will we will be back within the next probably 15 to 20 minutes.
We have the kids, Angie. <laughs> okay, uh, we are back from executive session. No board action was taken while we were in executive session. Um, do we have anything further in old and new business? I do. Uh, I, uh, I don't know if this is formal or not, but I'm going to do it now. So please accept this letter as my formal resignation from the Chilton County Board of Education as a board member of Section 53120. You will have my full availability during this transition time. Thanks for the opportunity to serve this board. I appreciate your willingness to serve the people of Chilton County. It is a thankless job, and you have my prayers. Brian Jackson. So, everybody, we need to go about that. I don't know if you vote on it tonight or the next meeting or what you do. Okay. So, can I get a motion to accept this resignation? No more. Second. Can, can I make a comment? Uh -huh. Mr. Jackson, I thank the person for what you've done for the board. Yes, sir. You're going to catch them tearing up, but you've done it. It's been on a work week. It's all good, man. It's just what's best for me right now. So I understand. Sometimes it's better to set your rates. Thank you. Uh, all those in favor? Right, and I, as board president, I would just like to say thank you so much for serving with us and serving the county with us. And um, we appreciate everything you've done. Okay. So um, at this time, I would like to, I know we had uh, visitors speak earlier, and I would like to address that situation. Um, with the after you want to come closer so we can hear with the after school program, um, I would like to personally say that this is um, you know board members had questions. Um, I have personally worked myself um, to get a meeting. We got a meeting. We were very excited about that. Um, I felt like it was a very productive meeting last night. I thought it was very informative. Um, I think that um, as far as the board members who had concerns, our questions were answered. Um, I have been in communication with YMCA leadership today for most, a um, uh, large majority of the time with YMCA leadership and our board attorney to make sure that this um, partnership for the 21st century grant um, was going to continue. Um, what, you asked them that? Yes. Yes. When? Today. Um, and so the, the Board of Education members, there was a majority who had um, some concerns. There were three specific concerns. Um, I addressed two of those with YMCA leadership this morning. Um, I was told that they were fine with that, that that would not be a problem. And there was a, a, a third issue that I had to get legal clarification on. I got legal clarification on it. Um, I made them aware of that particular issue and the way that we had to um, address it legally. It had to be addressed. Um, it's unfortunate what had happened at, at 535 I, this afternoon. I was notified by Mr. Griffin that the YMCA no longer wanted to partner with us. Um, I was shocked. Um, I, you know, I think that this is, this is sad. Somebody earlier said that this is sad and it's a shame. And I agree with that statement. Um, I think all the board members here who had issues were, had their issues addressed. And, um, we were under the assumption that we were moving this program, this after school program forward. Um, so 
I don't really know. I'm kind of at a loss for words. Um, I just think that the, the public needs to know um, from the Board of Education side that we were working to, we wanted to make this work. We, I have spoken to the board members who expressed, um, had requests um, in order for this partnership to truly be a 50 50 partnership. We did not ask anything unreasonable. Um, so I'm, I'm at a loss. I think this is very, a very sad situation. But I will say this the parents of Chilton County have nothing to worry about. There will be aftercare services. Um, we we were going we are going to address that. We have been discussing this. I have discussed it with Mr. Griffin for about the past week and a half. That if for whatever reason this um, this partnership with YMCA did not work out, we needed to have a backup plan because our parents and our students deserve aftercare um, options. So I just need the parents to know that you will have aftercare options. We're not going to leave you hanging. Um, Maplesville, Thorsby, Jemison, Verbena, uh, Clanton, everybody will have aftercare options. You do not have to worry about that. Um, I just want to be real, really clear about that because I've fielded lots of phone calls and, um, you know, I just want to assure the parents that this is your board members and your superintendent are going to work and do whatever we have to do to make aftercare happen um, and for it to be an option for you. So, do you need to add anything? I don't know. Just, I just want to say on behalf of them, they're not here anymore, but they did talk back. Yeah. We're here. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say something. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought they were gone. Can I, can I say something? Yes. What? Okay, hold on. You won't put it on. Hold on. Oh, well, then I, can I say something? Yes. Okay. Well, I'll speak, I'll speak on your behalf. I won't put words in his mouth. But they did answer questions. They answered questions. We met. We met again with y'all last night. And everybody left feeling really good about it. But first thing this morning, it started again. Every question gets two or three or five or six more questions. And it just gets old. It gets so old. And like they said this afternoon, enough is enough. I mean, everything that, that you're questioning has already been questioned and checked by the State Department of Education, by the YMCA Board of Directors. I mean, it's just, it, we will still care for children. If, if the board does something, that's fine too. But I mean, it's just, it's not worth it when every move is questioned. It's just not worth it. It's too much time and effort. When I mean, I had a place full of kids today. I needed to be given my attention to. Yeah. And it was answering the same questions that have already been answered. So. Okay. So just be clear though. I didn't ask the questions today. I would. I, I said here. Here are the. We need transparency. The board of education is asking for. Or is it, if we're going to be part. It's, it's not. It's not. It doesn't matter. I know. But I just want to be real clear. Okay. You're very clear. Okay. So that there is, I'm done. Okay, and it's not. So there were, you know, we asked for transparency, um, and you got it. You are correct because it was YMCA's decision to not apply for this 21st century grant with the Board of Education. Okay, thank you. All right, is there any other? Uh, yes. Okay. I have a question. Oh, uh, have letters. All of the letters been sent out to the employees that were overpaid and the payment collected. I can't speak to that. That would be a function of payroll and the CSF owner at the current time. We, have a, we don't have a CSF owner. Okay. okay, can we give Ms. Gamble authority to make sure that that has been done and addressed if it hasn't? That she get a letter sent to whoever? Since we don't have a CSF owner, the CSF owner works for y'all. I mean, I'm good with whatever. I thought those had been sent out. I don't know. Uh, then the lunchroom ladies that showed up for the feeding. We asked last month, I did, I know Mr. Smith asked last month, and we decided what we're going to do for the ones that work. We're meeting the 27th to discuss that. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 
So we're we're meeting the myself and uh, we're meeting the twenty seventh to discuss that. So that's on the our agenda. Oh, and also like they have they been told that they're not doing the premium program this summer. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's true. I don't even know if it's true. Currently, at this time, we don't know that we don't think it would be profitable because we don't know if we're gonna have access to students on campus as under the current order. So we can we can readdress that as we move forward. But I mean, right now we don't have. We don't have 13 and under on campus at all. Um, so the other thing is, David at AASVO contacted me. We've got a couple more new applicants. If we can get a date to interview the SFO again, I mean, that should not get it set up. Yeah. We will, any day, yeah, preferably, y'all send me or whatever. I'll um I'll go calendar and I will pull a couple of dates and just see what everybody what works best for and then and just get three nights three nights well I can give a new update because y'all only get three nights okay and I think that's how you was already we already took care of the NRCSFO when I asked about that and just signed on the check and I will secure that so that's how I got okay thank you okay. Okay, so if no one else has anything and I would need business, we'll be for 11. Can I get a motion to adjourn? Okay, all in favor? All right, this, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you all so much.